still people ask you, why hasn't everything evolved a large brain or dexterity like we humans have? Why, in fact, hasn't everything evolved to be human, to be the pinnacle of evolution, as they would see it? Well, just think for a moment. Just consider for a moment that everything was human. All the life on this planet was human. There's one immediate, very simple question to ask. What would we eat? Well, if all life on this planet was human, all we could eat was humans. But look at a human body. Are we? Have we evolved so that we can live on human meat alone? No. You have to eat your greens. It's as simple as that. Without greens, we would die of malnutrition, even if we stuffed ourselves every day with human meat. And in any case, think about it. One human being is not enough to, even if we could live on human meat alone, one human being would not be enough to sustain another human being for a whole human lifetime. It wouldn't be enough. So in other words, we would need more human beings than there are on this planet to just stay alive. We would very, very quickly, in other words, die out. And what's the point in that? So life cannot sustain a single type of organism on this planet. And that shows that fitness is a relative term. We, as human beings, are one of the most successful species on the face of this planet right now, only because we are such a great fit for our environment. We are the species that can make the most of the current environment, and the current environment is predominantly determined by other species. Plants, animals, bacteria, viruses even. That is what we are taking part in. Without that, we couldn't survive. So that gives you an indication as to why life has evolved into all these different types of species, from the lowly bacteria, as you would have it, to the pinnacle of evolution, which is human, human beings. There's no such thing, of course, as such a hierarchy in reality. If you think about it, we are all, every single living organism on this planet is the end result of 5 billion years of evolution. The lowliest bacteria on this planet today is as evolved as you or I are. They have just evolved to occupy a different niche in life. They are the most successful species to occupy their particular niche in nature. We are the most successful species to occupy our niche in nature. And that is why life has such diversity. And that is also why we can see progress. Look at, for example, a predator and a prey. In the normal world of things, some prey escape predators and other prey are eaten by predators. And what sort of evolutionary pressure does that create? Well, fairly simple. It creates an evolutionary pressure on predators to become even more efficient, often by becoming faster or cleverer. And similarly, on prey, it puts pressure to come up with some defense mechanism. And there are many different types of defense mechanisms in prey. They can become faster, for example, like gazelles, or they can develop different defense mechanisms, like this one, or, for example, that one. So, life has a tendency to evolve in even more diverse 
areas of effect rather than evolving to one perceived perfection type goal. So that is another reason how you can understand why that is happening. But you can also understand then that between sets of organisms like uh, prey and predators, you have something going on like an arms race. And on both sides of the equation, things get better, faster, more efficient, better at avoiding being eaten, and so on and so forth. And as prey gets better, the predators will have to get better. And as the predators will have to get better, the prey will have to get better. And so it goes on and on and on. But there are limits to what it can evolve into. You cannot, on a animal body plan, develop something that would exceed the speed of sound, for example. It's just not feasible. So, there is a matter to be considered of cost. If the evolutionary benefit costs more to the organism than it would achieve, it is a dead end. It's, a, it's an evolutionary dead end. You can only afford the defense or the offense mechanisms that you can sustain as an organism. Just like some countries can afford high-tech equipment and others can't in the current world. So that is a number of reasons why evolution doesn't just march on towards perfection all the time and why there is such diversity of life on this planet. So I want to leave you with those thoughts for this video.